Hello, welcome to this uh, next Substance tutorial, Substance Painter. In this we're going to uh, be having a look at how to use uh, maps we've baked externally, uh, normal maps, in Substance Painter. So just as an example, uh, I've got this kind of start address that I've got and as you can see I've got a lovely normal map on uh, in my UV editor here and if I zoom in uh, we should be able to see that those normals are creating these lovely seams you know between our uh, pattern pieces so uh, with that in mind if I go to substance painter and file and new I can go and select my dress there we are uh, I'll make it uh, 4096 it's kind of my standard for for clothes um, everything else is fine uh, so let's click OK so once that comes in, um, I've got my normal map that I've baked out, which is in uh, the same directory. I'm just going to drag and drop that onto my library there. And then uh, with this little dialog, I'm going to set it to be a texture and just for my current session, because I'd only ever use it on this dress. It's no good for anything else. Uh, and in your library, you should see it automatically selects it for you. So, with a fill layer, once my PC wakes up, come on, there we go. I'm just going to press Alt and uh, click on Normal to isolate the normal channel. And then drag and drop my normal onto it. And as you can see, it comes in. But there is a problem. You'll see the light isn't consistent. You'll see that as it's the light appears to be shining um, from this direction, and probably from um, a slightly upward facing direction on these vertical lines but these horizontal lines um, the light appears to be shining from the bottom which doesn't make sense at all um, you might get away with it but yeah I'd rather not so uh, the reason for this is that the default uh, for a normal map in Substance Painter is DirectX and I happen to know uh, that from Marvelous Designer it's an OpenGL map. The only difference between the two is the green channel. So the green channel is flipped between the two. So in uh, DirectX it's going in one direction and in OpenGL it's going in another direction. So when your application, Substance Painter in this case, thinks it's a DirectX normal it's going to assume green is going in one direction in fact it's not so it causes us an issue but we can fix that so on the layer that I've got my external normal map on next to material I can click this down and select color space and under color space we have normal so normal you'll see is the auto select is direct uh, X, uh, direct 3d um, and I want OpenGL and if you keep an eye over here you'll see it flips just as soon as I switch it there we go so now the light looks consistent on both these horizontal lines and these vertical lines shining from one direction everything is fine and groovy uh, the only thing about this is um, because of the way the map is generated I've got these little bands and overlaps uh, which I'm not happy about so just to fix that right click and add filter and I'll just add a quick blur in and take that intensity right down until I can't see it. There we go. That's better. OK, so that's ever such a quick one. It's just uh, using external normal maps. What to happen, uh, what to do if it doesn't work right. Um, and I hope you found that useful and I'll talk to you in another video.